What's up, YouTube? Today we're taking these Maxxis tires and throwing them away. I've been a Maxxis guy for quite a while. Over the last few years, every time I try something new, I'm just not happy and end up back on Maxxis. Because of this, last year, I decided to become a Maxxis ambassador, and I didn't really care about trying anything new. With COVID making getting the tires I needed a major PETA, I started thinking about trying something else. In addition, this year, Maxxis didn't renew me as an ambassador, so guess what? It's time for something new. But before we get to that, do me a favor and let's show Maxxis that we got a hell of a community here. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, do that for me, and while you're at it, bang that thumbs up too. Anyways, last year at Sea Otter, the first product that caught my eyes were the Versus tires. As soon as I walked in, I saw people walking around with tires that had color on them, and I was intrigued to find out what they were. I assumed it was one of the usual suspects and totally not the new kid in town. I did the design and branding in this world for like 25 years, and yeah. this is like basically me cashing in my IRA and like calling in favors to start a tire brand. All the tires have the accordion fold on the leading edge, which helps them conform to the terrain. They all also have a bead to bead butyl rubber impregnated mesh, so it's like it helps with puncture protection, but it also helps with air seepage. After speaking to the owner for a few minutes, I knew it'd be a great episode on Biker Bar. If you didn't know, I do a weekly podcast live stream called Biker Bar, where I talk to bike companies and other YouTubers. Check out the link and show more, or just search Biker Bar on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Just so you have a reference point, I took off a 2.5 Maxxis Minion DHF EXO Plus from the front and a 2.5 Maxxis Aggressor EXO Plus from the rear. I was also running the Cushcore XC on these wheels and I'll quickly say, I love Cushcore for the additional sidewall strength in the corners. However, the XC version, it's really just rim protection. It doesn't give you the additional benefits that I really enjoy from Cushcore and if you just want to protect your wheels without a big hit on weight, these are for you. Also, if you join my Patreon, there's a 20% coupon over there. So save yourself some cash and help support the channel. Since Versus is a brand new company started by one guy that cashed out his retirement and sold his truck, they currently only have a 2.4 tire. However, it does come in 27.5 and 29, as well as a folding bead and a wire bead on the gravity casing. I've been ripping through Max's sidewalls like crazy lately, so I decided to go with the gravity casing with the yellow splatter. Taking these things out of the box, you can tell right out the gate, these tires feel stout and that splatter, it stands out. It'll definitely give your bike a look that no other tire will. On my podcast, the owner told me he'll continually change out the splatter colors he's stocking. So if you want that Yeti turquoise that's on the site right now, you better get on it. Oh, and there's a discount code down in show more for the first 30 people to get $15 off. And everybody after that, $5 off a set. I mounted these to a set of Stans Baron CB7 carbon rims. They have a 35 millimeter internal and have always been easy to mount Maxxis to. Well, that was easy. The Versus were just as easy to pop on and set the bead super easy as well. Well, today is my lucky day because I completely forgot about the rotation when I put this one on and I just so happened to get it right. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty stoked about that. <laughs> Once you put these tires on, you're gonna need a little bit of extra flair. So I went for a new granite strap and some yellow grips. Unfortunately, the ergons that I ordered weren't the fat version that I like, and thanks to the comments on my 90 second review, I was able to find another grip by Deity that came in yellow just to try out. The Deity Supra Kush. They have a ton of colors and a 34 millimeter diameter for those of you that like fat grips. Now that I finally got everything on the bike, it's the fun part. Let's take these out to the trail and see how they do.
All right, these tires are definitely hooking up really freaking good. I'm actually kind of surprised on some of that stuff, how well they've been hanging. This is like off camber and loose at the same time. And it's just really, they're, they're just, their sidewalls are really grabbing well. I'm uh, super impressed right now. As I mentioned, these tires hold an edge extremely well. I attribute this to the Versus accordion design. If you look closely, there are little slits on the side mounts. They allow them to wrap around whatever it is they're tracking against and grab them like tiny little tire fingers. I would think something that small really wouldn't make a difference. One could even say it was just a placebo effect I felt while riding. <laughs> Thanks to my lousy memory, I completely forgot about the accordion slits and didn't put the added stability together with the design until I was chatting with a friend and he reminded me of the side knobs. With that being said, I'm a believer. While we're talking about the tread design, I think it's definitely worth mentioning that if you currently ride a DHF DHR setup, this will feel very similar to you. If you look at the three tires next to each other, the tread patterns could be easily mistaken. It's basically like the DHF and the DHR just had a new little tire baby and it's a pretty good mix of the two. My biggest complaint about the DHF is the gap between the center and the side knobs. With them sitting right next to each other, you can see that Versus tightened that up a little bit. However, if I was to change one thing about the Versus tire, I would add an additional knob in that channel similar to what Maxis did with the Asagai. I think this creates a smoother transition between the center and the side knobs when leaning the bike over. Just to reiterate, you can get these tires in plain black. However, if you opt for a color, please keep in mind that once they're dirty, the color doesn't pop as loud. Of course, once you wash them, the color shows brighter again, but a short ride on a dry trail and it's back to slightly poppy. No matter what, they still grab people's attention and spark conversation. Overall, I've been surprisingly impressed with these tires. As I put these tires on, I fully expected to do a few rides and put my favorite Maxxis combo back on. Instead, I've ridden them all over Northern California as well as the Arizona desert. They've handled wet and dry conditions with ease and didn't seem to lack in either space. They're a great all-around tire that rolls well, has a predictable grip, and holds an edge with a confidence-inspiring feeling. It's really refreshing to see a new company pop up and do something different in a space that's already saturated with huge companies that have deep R&D pockets. The fun colors, a decent price point, and the idea of putting food on someone's table really adds to the list of reasons I'd buy a set of these. Do me a favor and click the link and show more to pick up a set for yourself. And on your way out, remember, it only takes a bike to be a biker, so get out and be one.